Good morning, Knights. Here we are in the midst of course selection for the next school year. Today, I just want to give you a quick reminder about your graduation requirements and how they impact your course selection choices for next year. It is critical that you know what it takes for you to meet your graduation requirements. All of you are on the Foundation High School program with an endorsement. You're going to need a minimum of 26 credits to graduate. Know your endorsement and the pathway that pertains to your chosen endorsement as each of them have a prescribed set of courses that you'll need to take in order to meet your graduation requirements. There may be a few of you who are on the Foundation High School program only. You know who you are, so make sure that you too know your course requirements specific to this plan. All of you have an established four-year plan and you designated your choice for your endorsement and your pathway. The information that you previously provided us is indicated on your course selection card just below your name. If you want to make a change to your endorsement and or your pathway, you'll need to see your counselor. Making a change does require the submission of a new four-year plan and parent permission. If this information is blank on your course card, you'll need to make an appointment to see your counselor so that the two of you can work on establishing your endorsement choice and mapping out your four-year plan. This slide gives you a good general overview of how the graduation plan is built. There is a core curriculum of 22 credits that must be met, regardless of the endorsement that you choose. Then your chosen endorsement will add a requirement of four additional credits, which will include one additional math, one additional science, and two additional electives. Your elective credits are tied specifically to your endorsement and your pathway, and your third and fourth math and science choices are also tied to your chosen endorsement. For students who complete an endorsement and Algebra 2, you'll receive the designation of Distinguished Level of Achievement, and you will be eligible for automatic admissions for Texas Public Universities as long as you rank in the top 10% of your class. The University of Texas, however, has a lower percentage requirement that is specific to your graduating class. Here you'll see an overview of the core requirements. You'll need four credits of English Language Arts, four credits of Math that must include Algebra 1 and Geometry, four credits of Science that must include Biology, and then IPC Chemistry or Physics, three Social Studies credits, you can choose between world geography or world history, and you must take U.S. history, U.S. government, and economics. You've got to have two credits of the same foreign language to meet your world language and cultures requirement, one full credit of PE, one full credit of fine art, and seven credits of endorsement specific electives. Your endorsement options include arts and humanities, business and industry, multidisciplinary studies, public services, and STEM for science, technology, engineering, and math. Familiarize yourself with your endorsement and your chosen pathway. You need to be keeping up with what courses you'll need to take in order to meet your graduation requirements. In addition to the course requirements, you'll be required to meet the minimum standard of approaches grade level on all five of your end of course exams or STAR. You'll take an exam for English 1, English 2, Algebra 1, Biology, and U.S. History. For a more detailed look at the specific requirements of each endorsement, you'll need to refer to the Educational Planning Guide. Last but not least, don't forget, you must turn in your completed course selection card to your United Teacher by the published deadline. You must also enter your course request in Skyward, also by the deadline. If you have any questions, don't forget, your counselor is available and will be happy to answer those questions for you. And always remember, it's a great day to be a knight.